We've gotten our hands on a new Star Citizen Alpha 3.21 patch just a few minutes ago. Let's get straight into it. This one is available for all backers as the initial one was for all backers. And the testing focus here, the very first one is actually very interesting. All right. So the first one says new jump point rest stop stations and Lagrange points as a testing focus. The reason why I'm bringing this up is there's been a lot of people bringing up the idea that um, jump points were accidentally uh, put in and it, was, uh, it wasn't it was intended for the 321 branch and um, right here the fact that CIG is making this a testing focus means that it was intended to be in there and um, I believe probably in this patch we'll probably be able to jump to all three of them officially without trying to find it manually so um that's really interesting why are they testing jump points you know so so next is legal and illegal mission retrieve consignment new illegal mission korea steal evidence repel raid on orison new crusader platform driver remote turret quality of life improvements they have quite a bit of known issues not going to go through them in this video and um under new features it says new jump point rest stop stations and lagrange points Addition of three additional rest stops to Stanton to act as the final stop before entering jump points. Each location is set up similarly to all other Lagrange points and consists of parent gas cloud and a small child gas cloud, a gateway rest stop and a structure leading to the jump point itself. It is important to note that the jump point are currently non-functional in 3.21 as Stanton is the only system available at this time and right now. These three stations with jump points that lead to Stanton system are the Pyro Gateway, the Magnus Gateway, and the Terra Gateway, as we all know. Under feature update, they've done a polish and bug fix pass for the Retrieve Consignment and the SPK Steel Evidence Mission. And um, they also fixed multiple issues with mission progression. They've reduced affinity required for the Steel Evidence Mission during the PTU testing and um, made evidence available in the first loop on the bug fixes it's pretty short the first one says ai npcs can begin to float while standing within a usable and that is um, fixed and this one is regarding the vehicle hud it says toggle power on and off changing weapon groups doesn't respond to mouse clicks so that's been fixed in addition to this, there is five client crashes as well as three server crashes and a server deadlock and, and they made further server entity optimization. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.